How's it going, my friends? And welcome back to Sully's Models. So, I hope you guys have had a nice Christmas and New Year. And um, so, we're going to kick off this year uh, with uh, Mini Arts 135th Lori et Oliver. Oliver, should I say it properly? I'm trying to do it. I'm doing an accent now. Uh, Lurie le... No. Lurie et Olivier. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> Lurie et Olivier. I think that's how it's pronounced. I haven't got a scooby-doo. Um, so, this... <laughs> this kit is... Uh, it's an autogyro. Uh, basically, it's, it's, it's this one here. Just to make things a lot easier. And I could have saved me some embarrassment. Uh, just by putting that up there and saying it's this one. Uh, so, <laughs> so what we're going to be looking at in this kit, uh, in this episode, sorry, um, is we're going to be looking at the kit. I even added a drink. I don't drink anymore. I don't know what's going on. Um, so we're going to be looking at uh, the kit itself um, and sort of the, the first little bit uh, of the build. Uh, it's very simple. It's very quick uh, to put together. It's very nicely uh, detailed as well. I've had... Usually when I've done mini art stuff, I've usually used uh, figures. Um, they also are very nicely uh, detailed, but they're quite, I've found they're very heavily in flash. Um, very quickly over this, I haven't seen any. Um, so it looks really, really good. Um, I didn't actually really realize they did anything really other than sort of like uh, figures and sort of little diorama bases. Um, but I'd like to thank Stuart, uh, my mate from work, uh, for this kit. Um, it's very nice, it's very different, it's very interesting. Um, so, uh, we'll jump straight into it and uh, we'll start by looking at the kit itself. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions. So it comes in a really uh, nicely laid out uh, booklet. Um, we've got the choice of uh, two schemes. Uh, we've got... Uh, about three French ones and a Belgian one <laughs> um, that we can choose from. Um, I won't actually be doing uh, either of these kits, uh, sorry, these are the markings. Um, I'll actually be doing um, an RAF one, um, kind of made up based on an actual one, but I'm, I'm not going to use the right, well, I'm not going to use any registration. I'm just going to put uh, just the Randall. So you can see we've got um, our parts loadout um, at the front there um, with our um, PE parts as well. Um, obviously in the, in the loadout there with the decals you can see um, as well. So it's all um, nicely laid out there um, at the front so we know where everything is um, if we do get a little bit confused. Um, also gives you uh, the paint call out uh, down the bottom corner as well. Now, as you can see, it's a really nicely uh, laid out um, instruction. Um, nicely done in sort of like a CAD uh, format. Um, there's not really a lot to uh, the kit uh, as such. There's probably um, more within uh, the engine, probably more than there is anywhere else. Uh, as you can see, it's quite the um, you know, it's quite a basic, basic cockpit, um, so shouldn't oppose any real problems uh, putting it all together. Uh, I think the only thing that we're going to probably have a bit of a struggle with is probably putting the uh, top rotary braid, uh, blades on. Um, I can see they're going to be possibly a wee bit heavy, so we'll we'll, we'll see what um, see how it goes out. Um, but yeah, you've got a choice of having the blades. Um, either open or sort of closed, I think they call it a, a transport um, position. So I have a quick look at the actual kit itself. Um, one that my uh, mates at work, Stuart, has uh, given us this model um, to build. He's done a did a quick review on it uh, for someone, um, but as you can see, the detail on it is is really nice. You got the um, you know you can see the ribbing. And everything so most of this is all fabric and there's a bit of metal on the nose quite simple sort of wall uh, detail again there's not really much uh, going in there really you know because it, you know, it says it's quite a basic um, sort of sort of aircraft really uh, 
so let's have a look at some of the sprue parts uh, so we've got the engine there which is in a, in a couple of parts um, but it's really nicely detailed I mean most of the stuff I've looked at uh, from Met Art has, has generally been quite good um, I've mainly made the figures um, usually and they're quite heavily flashed but the detail is good um, but to be honest with you looking at this there's there's nothing there's no real flashing on it I, I haven't really noticed any flashing um, at all um, but we've got some nice details nice and clean um, you know I think there's a couple I think there was a couple of uh, pin marks in the um, sort of copper area but they're parts that you're not really gonna you're not actually gonna see so um, they might not be too much of a problem uh, we'll have a look when we um, you know start fitting all that uh, together but we've got a very simple uh, basic um, instrument panel um, but pretty much they, they duplicated the go between the two but you know it's quite basic um, quite basic as I said before and it's gonna be basic throughout this uh, it's a quite a basic uh, yeah, aircraft um, <laughs> So the tyres, um, they're pretty good. Um, they're in two halves, um, but again, they've got some really, really nice detail. Um, you know, all the sort of spokes in there. You have got the choice of um, uh, cover um, to go over it, over those spokes as well. The propeller detail is really nice. Uh, you've got the gear head um, or connecting parts uh, there. Um, make sure you use the right ones um, they do depend on uh, which uh, version you're gonna go for so like the open or uh, sorry yeah I'm gonna say call it open or closed um, on the on the purple bar the rotary blades I get my teeth in tonight um, but they're really nice to detail they've even got the um, they've even give made it as a, as a bend uh, in there the natural sort of rest um, of the propeller base that's a really nice really nice detail to add in there the decals seem quite nice i've never used met art uh, decals before um so i can't really comment on them but they, they do look nice they look uh, quite good um clear parts are again basic uh, <laughs> there's, there's literally two windscreens uh, <laughs> uh, pilot and co-pilot i don't know i don't even know how it works um on, on this one um, so yes, there's only a front and back glaze. Um, there's a sort of like a slip one on the front and a, and a three three panelled one um, for the uh, the rear one. The brass or PE parts, if you like, uh, come in this nice little uh, pouch. They've got sort of like I'm going to call it a carrier film, but they've got a film on uh, both sides. It's probably made to protect it, really, but. Um, Again, really, really nice and detailed. Um, we've got some uh, sort of control uh, surface parts, um, some parts for the uh, engine uh, as well. Um, got the sort of, I think it's like a, like a linkage uh, for the um, rotary blades uh, there as well. Uh, as well as we've got our belts uh, and some parts for the uh, propeller hub there as well. So that's it for um, all the parts uh, and the instructions. So let's move on to uh, getting this thing built. So we'll start uh, obviously with the uh, engine, uh, nice and simply uh, put together. Um, the engine is pretty much one solid uh, piece. We've also got those um, thingy me bobs. Uh, I can't what they're called off the top of my head. Uh, we've got those to go in. Uh, there's two per uh, piston. We've also got a bit of brass edge uh, in there. 100% sure, not 100% sure what exactly they're for. Uh, I'm not very good with engines. Uh, <laughs> we've also got uh, some brass detailing on the back there, uh, which is the sort of um, gasket in uh, for the exhaust that will run around uh, the back of the engine. I've also decided to put my own um, spark plugs in, or the, more of the wires uh, for the spark plug. Um, this was quite simply done. All I did was super glue these uh, into place. Um, there's some small little pegs where the spark plugs actually are. I could have drilled them out, but to be honest with you, I probably completely destroyed them uh, anyway. So I super glued them uh, into place. 
Um, ones that had gone off, I just bent them, uh, ran to the back of the engine, um, and um, yeah, quite simple. <laughs> um, I have decided to put a uh, ring in uh, around the back uh, for where all the spark plugs uh, go into. Admittedly, this is a little bit of guesswork because all the sort of um, photos I could find of this particular engine didn't show me the back. Uh, so, on what I've seen on other engines, um, there is like a, a ring where all these uh, sort of spark plugs uh, go into. Um, so, I just thought that would look right. Um, in all honesty, uh, once it actually went into place, uh, you didn't notice it so a <laughs> little bit pointless but i thought you know it's best to do it just in case um sometimes when you do these sort of things you know you, you know it's, it's worth doing these things just in case you can see them um because sometimes you can't always um you know dry fit them into place um when you're doing these sort of things properly um and get a good idea of it so that's what i did um i'm quite happy with it it look um i think it looked pretty good uh, in my opinion in the end anyway so here you can see uh, that brass ring uh, I put in there to use some um, copper wire basically um, and sort of uh, pull the wires down um, to sort of where I think they should be at the right length um, snipped them off and again just super glue those, super glue those uh, into place I now decided to put some wiring uh, in the back of the instrument panel um, because I wanted this to run down the side wall uh, the cockpit just to add that little bit more of interest. Unfortunately the wiring was a little bit too big so I, I stripped this out and redid it with a thinner gauge wire. So you can see there the cockpit is all done and painted. You can see that wiring there that I've added. Um, I used a bit of masking tape to tape the frame and those wires together is like a, a retaining clip um, and yeah that looks nice I'm quite happy with that you can see the belts there that I've paint, uh, put in uh, I'll paint them uh, in a short while after painting the uh, instrument panel black added the instrument uh, panels themselves if that makes sense um, they come off the carrier film quite nicely uh, and went onto the model nicely as well um, so, so far everything's going quite nicely. As you can see, I've got everything painted, some scratch work, the belts are painted, and the wiring uh, as well. So, so far it uh, says it's going together quite nicely and I think looking quite good so far. So once the cockpit's all been buttoned up, uh, which went together uh, very nicely without any uh, major issues, you know, we can then move on to adding everything else. Um, which again, all this went on uh, quite nicely. The tower plane here was a little bit more of a, uh, a fiddle, um, the ailerons, uh, and actually the main wing itself, because you can see it's got that slight kick in it, um, was a little bit of a fiddle, but you know nothing uh, major. We've also got them struts that have gone in there as well, uh, which were quite uh, fiddly, but not as fiddly as the main undercarriage itself. Um, it's in about three different parts, um, and it's it, initially it seems really fiddly um, or weak actually is more, more of what I was quite concerned about um, but once it's all actually um, glued together and, and, and let dry it's actually not too bad um, but it's one of them things you won't want to drop this um, because these parts will probably just pop and shatter and just disappear in all directions um, but Again, once it was all glued and dried, um, it was actually a lot more stable uh, than I thought it was going to be. So, onto the main rotary blades. Um, we had to move this little uh, notchy bit out. Um, it's probably the only real bit of cleanup um, or removal uh, within the model uh, we had to do. Um, this is in prep for that little brass bit uh, behind, as you can see there. Uh, on the side um, I'm not sure what it is I'm not going to pretend to but it's part of the uh, I'm assuming the mechanism uh, for the blade um, what we need to make sure um, 
you have to make the right decision first um, on whether you want your blades to be um, out or in that sort of uh, closed position I mentioned earlier because um, there's different um, connecting parts um, for the closed um, which is only the two outer ones really because the back one will still have the sort of straight uh, connector but as you can see that one there is for one of the side pieces which is um, got a right angled um, bit on it uh, to attach uh, the uh, propeller, propeller blade onto. So once that's fixed and uh, dried into place, we can then move on uh, to putting that uh, brass part on, which all we need is just a little bit of uh, super glue um, on sort of the, I'm gonna call it the gear, part of the gearing system or the, the collapsing part of the propeller, but I don't know what it's called, but that bit there uh, with a little bit of super glue and then the other bit onto the propeller blade and the this little cap that goes on top of it. So all that's left to do now with all the blades uh, all made up is to put them on the uh, gear head um, and this is the bit I'm uh, most dubious about because it's you know a small pin on a small bit and I'm, I'm very aware of this actually um, not staying together and completely breaking um, so I've glued them into place maybe super glue might have been uh, a better uh, option um, but there we go that's all the blades um, all together it's most of the model built as well so i think for now um we'll leave it there for this episode so there we go my friends that's the first episode done uh nice quick and short one i'm afraid uh again this is quite a short series uh like the last one uh with the wellington um you know both these have been quite uh quick and and easy uh to do and put together uh so um so yes yeah, so in the next episode we'll obviously of course look at uh painting and uh finishing uh, the model off so i do hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the episode uh if you have give us a like uh, if you're new around here consider liking and subscribing to the channel be muchly appreciated um so yeah so again thanks very much uh, for watching my friends and i'll catch you again soon